Welcome back to the Big House and Wolverine Sports Magazine. It's Michigan hockey team. The town was all abuzz about the Cold War up at East Lansing against Michigan State. And it doesn't get much tougher than going in front of 74 plus thousand fans against the nation's top ranked team in MSU. We should have won that game. I mean, we had them down in the last 30 seconds and we turned the puck over and, um, you know, when one of your best players makes a mistake like that as, as a coach, you know, you just, uh, you, you've you got to accept that. The atmosphere was phenomenal. Um, it's something that's pretty indescribable in words. I just, you know, you almost get emotional out there and you're walking under that tunnel. You're just, I was just really honored to be a part of that. And I know everybody on our team was. And we just wanted to take full advantage of it. And we did. We went out there and put the effort forth that we wanted to. The atmosphere Saturday was magical. It, it was uh, unbelievable. I couldn't, uh, you, know, you couldn't orchestrate something like that. Uh, uh, the feeling, uh, the weather, the, the crowd, the noise, it was just tremendous. I mean, I, I, uh, my head is still spinning from that game. We may never see outdoor hockey here at the Big House because they have the natural grass. We may never see Michigan and Michigan State play outdoors again. The Spartans are going to natural grass next year. It's tough to lay a rink down on top of a natural surface. Now, we may see outdoor hockey from Big Ten schools as Wisconsin head coach Jeff Sauer was on hand at the Cold War. Take a look at bringing outdoor hockey to Madison.